Wavy Boy Productions. Three CP and there was a game Friday. Good Lord, it was a game last Friday. John Tyler, Cedar Hill, fifty-seven to seven was the score, and we all know what happened. For we ain't gotta just go all into it, but we know what happened. Got beat. So, with that said, this is the big week, John Tyler Lee week. Um, uh, it's I gotta. This is what I'm gonna tell you some things. I'm gonna give you a, a little note, a little. Bass blast to the past of why you shouldn't be worried about this loss. Shouldn't be worried about this loss. So let's get into that game right now. Woods got hurt. Right, Wood he got hurt. And Xavier I mean, no, and Xavier came in. Now Xavier was supposed to be the starter or something. I saw in the summertime, I believe it was Coach Home, somebody posted a picture that said Xavier his name was uh he was the starting quarterback. I was like, hmm, this is the Xavier guy. But from what it looked like, he wasn't ready to play. Or I mean, I wasn't actually there. But from what I was seeing, like the running game didn't get good. I think they met like negative twenty-four rushing yards. Street had like sixty-four yards or something like that. Um, and the defense just—they said the, the defense, the, the corners were just getting beat off the press, like like easy. Just right off the press, and they was getting burnt. So the secondary is pretty much a big, big, big problem there. Um. The guy Xavier Woods, uh, I'm not sure what his stats. Uh, yeah, yeah. Allen, Allen, yeah, Allen. Say that for that CJ. I, I'm thinking of Woods. I don't know why. I'm thinking of Woods. Some other guy. Because I know <laughs> Woods definitely. Count. Yeah, I'm thinking, I think I'm thinking. I'm thinking of that. But yeah, uh, I should know uh, the specific stats. I know CJ knows those, so we'll let him take those. But the quarterback situation. If, if Woods get hurt. You still don't shouldn't worry because, like I said, they have some quarterbacks that can play the position. Like I said, if they need to take a look at Cameron Ford, I believe he might be on JV. But if they don't, if the running game, it couldn't be as good as it was Friday. You know that guy looked like the type of he's type he's the type of guy you'd be like the runner. Like if y'all remember Den Geyer and uh the guy Gerard Hurd who used to do it. their whole offense was through him like he was just pretty much their whole offense and they you know they had some good running backs too and a great offensive line so uh, I'm saying you know they should use him in a situation I mean I know he might be JV quarterback but I think he has the potential to play in the uh, in the big boy you know the varsity but it was a uh, it was pretty tough pretty tough to watch for the people who was there Pretty tough to listen to. Pretty tough to see the score. I mean, I looked up on the update because I get on the forum. And shout out to Kujo for life. I always post the updates of the scores. And it was about 8 o'clock. It was 22 to 0. And I was like, good Lord, what's going on with him? He was like, you name it. I'm like, wow. They just going through some. Hey, hey it was Cedar Hill. It's Cedar Hill. Don't let what happened last year to them fool you because they only lost, missed the playoffs by like some forfeits in district and stuff, really. Like, they're still Cedar Hill. So, I mean, with that being said, we know what's coming up. We know what's happening. John Tyler Lee game. Um, I saw Lee play. I saw them play. And from what I looked at offensively and defensively for the most part, I wasn't too impressed. I mean, Marshall pretty much had to with them. Lee had a chance to keep the game close, but their offense was just not where they could uh produce points like they look like a version of the Eagles like a worse version of the Eagles play because pretty much they're I'm not saying they're just bad players but pretty much their offense is pretty simple it's like a read option pass, option pass like he's going to hand it off to the running back or he's going to fake it and uh throw the slant that's pretty much his his pad like Dick Lee John Tyler will have to watch that because he's going to throw the ball he's going to fake the throw even if he doesn't throw it He's going to make that throw in motion. So that's pretty much their offense. And if Wickware is um, playing, then they're going to really have to watch that. That's going to be kind of what's going to keep them. It's going to keep them, give them a little trouble maybe. But the running game wasn't really getting that. They really had couldn't get the gun running, running game going. If Wickware isn't there, I think the defense of JT, you know, we should have a pretty, pretty easy uh, three and outs. Because the quarterback is not one of those guys like Chance Sam. He's not going to take off and run. He's he's pretty much like a 
Uh, he's like a less mobile version of Carson Wentz. Like, I didn't see him run around. I see him take some sacks, but I didn't see him, like, just read out and take out running. Like, you know, he just wants to, he's going to throw the ball, give it to his runner, let his guy, let his playmates make the play. Like, he's not going to uh, take off running like Chance Avery or nothing. It's pretty much the running backs and the receivers. Uh, I believe I forgot the guy's name, number nine. Star Wars, the M, Mason, Mo. Oh, if you know the guy, I don't know who come on. But he's number nine. He like he's probably the best receiver from what I saw. And defense, I mean, they do they just the defense was kinda lost at some play. I mean, I've seen some plays where this dude was just burned them over the top and some plays where dudes were just wide open over the middle and like wow. Marshall was just having a way in that second half. But, you know, J J T they come off that loss to him last year. And I know this is the one this is that game. Well, you never want to lose the league. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's uh, if the both teams go 0 and 10. You never want to lose to Lee. If you're Gentile and if you Lee, you never want to lose to Gentile. Like they don't want to lose. That's the one game they play different for. Like so, you can't take what happened last week and say, okay, Gentile got beat by 50, and Lee beat got beat by less than 50. It wasn't 50, but they they, they scored some points. But you can't say that. They're going to play totally different for this game. You know, it's going to be one of those games where you never know what's going to happen. But I'm still riding JT to pull this one out. I think this one might get ugly in the second half. That's just my opinion. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm giving it 47-17, JT. 47-17. to 17. Mark my words. But uh, with that being said, y'all shouldn't be taking. She shouldn't. You shouldn't. Be worried about their loss to Cedar Hill. This is why you shouldn't be worried about their loss to Cedar Hill. Because remember, let's take a trip down memory lane. Let's go down to Lufkin, Texas. Let's go down to Lufkin, Texas. And let's watch our old boy, uh, Geo McAllister. His first start. He came out and took 16 sacks. Good Lord. That was absolutely terrible. 16 sacks. They got decimated. They got blown out. They... John Tyler, I mean, the form, the dudes, everybody was jumping ship. First game, people were jumping ship. Season over. It's over. Let's just stop going into games. John Tyler losing every single game after that. I'm standing, I, t I told them, don't trip. They're going to be fine. It's just one game. And what happened? They went on a winning streak. Even though they lost the Mansfield Legacy, they wasn't even supposed to go th to the first round of the playoffs. They wasn't even expected to go to the playoffs because they was coming off of a year they lost Bryson in that right CJ. We lost Bryson, didn't we? Yeah. At the Mageo, yeah. So they wasn't really expected to go nowhere. Oh, Greg Ward. Bryson, Greg Ward. No, Greg Ward. Yeah, yeah. Lost Greg Ward. So um, they wasn't expected to do nothing. But they surprised everybody. But they lost the Mansfield Lakes in the first round of the playoffs. Y'all remember that game? The team ran one play every single play. They, play, they, they literally played. That, that team was literally uh, uh, what I would face in playing when I was playing Madden. A dude would spam one play, then run with the quarterback. I swear, that's all they did. Run, run, run in the pistol, and then third down, the, the quarterback would take off running. Every single time. It pissed me off so much. I wanted to just go down the field like, look, he's just going to do the same thing. Run, 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 quarterback. Run, 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 quarterback. But they couldn't stop it. So, uh, with that being said, man, big week. We're going to keep it positive because we know we lost. And we know JT got really, really beat really, really bad. But we're not going to dwell on that. We're not going to hold our heads down. We're not going to do none of that. Remember, they're going to be fine. Look at this schedule, man. Longview. Leave now. Longview next week. Eulis Trinity. Like, if they if they come out of this this four-game stretch at 2-2, uh, two and two, that's the win. Even at 1-4, and four, if they just beat Lee, it's expected because they expected not to beat Longview. I mean, what well, no, because Longview, we're going to Longview, going to Longview. So that game, you know, been winning in Longview lately. So two and two, Euless Trinity, you just can't know, you know, you don't know what to say about Euless Trinity. But even if they come out 0 and 4 in this stretch, this four game preseason stretch, remember, district hasn't started. District is going to go way down. Like I said in the first podcast, district is going all the way down. To a list of competition besides Texas High and a little one or two other schools, so you can't be worried. You can't be worried. And plus, first game, 
And then Woods got hurt. So Xavier came in and he just wasn't ready. I mean, I don't know what type of offense he's used to running or what type of quarterback he is because I didn't get to see him exactly. So that's what, you know, we got to just keep it moving, keep it pushing, and get ready for Saturday, you know. But, um, yeah, CJ is going to be coming on here and tell you some things. You know, we got the NFL season popping up, so he's going to tell you something about that. And, uh, I, oh yeah, I don't stop. We don't. We don't. I remember we found out why Jasmine blocked me, and uh, <laughs> we gonna talk about it on air. We gonna talk about it on air. <laughs> okay, I'm tripping. Yeah. Oh, uh, we'll talk. But uh, yeah, we gonna talk about that on there, cause it, 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 I, I would read the message that she sent, but it was kind of funny because she kind of contradicted herself to saying stuff that she did. But I, never mind. But anyway. Uh, football season starting up. It's time, and my 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 YouTube channel. If y'all don't know, if y'all listen to it on YouTube, pretty much you listen to it on YouTube. Third Coast Gaming. I'm I'm, I'm doing the um, Madden tips, all that stuff. I do that. Um, this I got a video. I'm working on something for this John Tyler Lee game. So be looking for it by Friday, maybe tomorrow. Um, be looking for that, and uh. It's gonna be pretty good. It's, I'm, I'm gonna tell them to keep the uh, the uh, the kids, you know, try to motivate these kids to be like, oh, hey, it's don't give up and everything. Just just keep it pushing. And pretty much we got another uh, rivalry game coming up that week. This week, Chopper Hill and White House, which is a game that I'm really familiar with because I graduated from Chopper Hill, so we know all about White House. And we haven't beat White House in some years now. Why do I used to be the stepping like the the stepchild of of the district? We used to beat them so bad, like they was the worst team ever in the district. Like I remember John Tyler, I mean Chopper Hill beating White House. Like I, I was I looked in the paper, like my mom was over somebody's house. We looked in the paper, and because uh, one of the teachers was from White House, what's her name? Miss Dudes. Out the Miss Dudes. We used to go over her house and we looked at the paper, and it showed it. Chop Hill beat them 63 to 3. I was like, good lord. Because I mean, we didn't get to go to the game or something like that day. But it was like, it was, White House was like, it was, they was never the team that, even before, pretty much when Mahomes came, they was good. Then Bounty, they dropped back off. They hit that one little sprint with Mahomes and pretty much had everything after that. You know, when McFarlane came, they had a pretty good little offense. But Pretty much, yeah, I guess let's say when McFarlane came to he left, they was kind of good. And then when he left, they went back to being whoever they are now. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's another one. I'm probably going to get to go probably watch that one. I got to, you know, it's, it's right, right out of I mean, why would I not miss that? Why would I? But, uh, hey, CJ is going to be on, tell you some stuff. Hey, uh, what's coming on? Is it a game tomorrow? It used to be three games, ain't it? Yeah, actually, tomorrow, um, I'll clear this up. Actually, it's supposed to be tomorrow, the White House, Chapel Hill, Friday night, Jacksonville and Palestine, and of course, Saturday, you know, the big one, Rose City Rivalry. Wow. We ain't got to say who's in that one, I'm just saying. Jacksonville, Palestine, they play Yeah, Friday? yeah, I had to look it up. Uh, I think it was, I don't want to quote, yeah. it was a new, it might have been KLTV, because uh, yeah. I, I had to. Because I was trying to look up who was actually playing in the games. And then yeah. some people, let me clear this up, y'all. The JT Lee game is Saturday. It is not yeah. Friday. I know I've, I've seen some people on Facebook saying it was on. They were thinking on Friday because they yeah. said they seen yeah. it online somewhere. I, and I did see it on one or two <laughs> sources. I think they didn't update their schedule that it was on Friday. So we want to clear that up. We can't. Let the whole world know we try to, but yeah. we hope nobody expects it to be on Friday. It's yeah, so Saturday. Don't, don't go to <laughs> it's at seven p.m., not seven thirty. Yeah. So so don't come to uh, the stadium Friday with your John Tyler and Lee stuff on Saturday. Yeah, but don't come today. You come there Friday, you can look kind of crazy. 
you gonna see some Palestine white and Jacksonville. I mean, Jacksonville. hey, you might got some friends. You want to just check out a yeah. Jacksonville and Palestine. But remember, the games used to be Saturdays back in the days when yeah, those yeah. games used to be Saturdays at four o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're like at two o'clock, but two. Yeah, yeah those but, are the days where. Yeah, but it was. Uh, you, you, people would literally have to buy an outfit just to go to that game. It was like the Gremlin preview of Tyler. <laughs> yeah, man, but it was something. Yeah, but yeah, well. That's what we got. We, we still got. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. So CJ's for the pub. Get on here and tell you some things, and pretty much he can give you some more stats about what happened Friday. And like I told you, I, well, I saw from Lee, not that impressive to me, but we'll see what happens with him. You know. But here we go. Hello, world. We coming at y'all. Uh, I'm sorry. I know y'all probably been waiting, maybe impatiently since uh, Friday. I know. Um, I was telling Rob, uh, I'll be honest, I was like, you know, it was it was an embarrassing loss. It might be hard to talk about, but the one thing I know, just like Rob said, I thought, man, it's it's first game chronicles. This can happen, especially with a powerhouse Cedar Hill team. Uh, don't let hey, the record doesn't mean nothing from that. When you're a great when you're known for making it deep into the playoffs and I mean you you know they have three state championships. I know, you know they they won one recently in 2014. But we know high school football. We know who the powerhouses are. Just like Euless Trinity Trinity is on that schedule in two weeks. So, you know, we know when we see a team, we know. I mean, the records don't matter. Especially this is a, this is a, this is the first game of the 2018 season. You know, so. And then, you know, John Tyler came out flat. They lost their quarterback first half, I believe, the first quarter, if I'm not mistaken. And so everything went down here from there. Really, um, Cedar Hill started the bleeding, and John Tyler, they just couldn't stop the bleeding. It just it got out of hand in a hurry, 28-0. Hey, it is what it is. But, but let me – I'm not going to bore y'all with too many stats, but – let me just say this before I get into the stats. Um, of course, I wasn't there in person. Uh, but like I say, I didn't like what I was hearing. I didn't like, I mean, you know, you listen to a game on the radio, you you can pretty much figure out, okay, something ain't right. With something like, just like I was, you know, my first thought was, man, the defense, they must have left it in Tyler, Texas because they didn't take it to Cedar Hill with them. I'm just saying. And it's the first game because, like I say, Rob brought up a a great analogy, just like the game against Lufkin a few years ago with with Gio McCall. Look, it's the look things happen. It's the first game, just like I say. Sometimes it depends on who who's who's returning, who's who's the new guys on the block, so to speak. And you know, the secondary got pretty much exposed Friday night. Uh, you know. Shane Lawrence, he just had a field day. He ended he ended up with 241 yards, three touchdowns. You got one receiver for Cedar Hill. He went over 100 yards. They almost had another receiver. He he neared 100, I believe. It was around 90, 96, something like that. But Cedar Hill just did what they wanted. I basically, I think I messaged Rob or something. They just be, or I posted it. They were just playing backyard football. I, that's just what it was. And, and you know it was a bad night. It was, it's first game chronicles. It can happen. Just like with Robbie Lee, they might come out blazing Saturday night. Rob say they didn't look impressive, but it's it's a rivalry. All that goes out the window. John Tyler, they should find this in motivation. I know they will, cause that 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 is a tough pill to swallow. I know it left a horrible taste in their mouth. Driving back, driving from Sea Hill back to Tyler after that that that. Asinine performance. I mean, it was an abomination. But it's in, hey, it's in the past now. Now it's almost it's almost sad. It's game time, and you got to get your head together because you playing not just anybody. You playing a cross town rival. No matter what you seen Friday night, we know Lee, Robbie Lee gets up for this game. Now it's been some games where, of course, they didn't have they didn't just have much talent, and John Tyler overwhelmed them. It's been like that kind of for you know John Tyler too. Lee might have some explosive players. So you this game, man, I didn't. The records don't matter. You do not take them lightly. 
And Saturday night, like I said, this is a chance of JT to get back on track before they go into the big another huge game at Lobo Stadium against Longview next next Friday night, the fourteenth, not this week, but the fourteenth. But um, but yeah, man, just listen to this. Does this even sound right? John Tyler minus fourteen yards rushing. This is, I mean, look. And then Devlin Woods going out in the first half very pretty early, uh, you know. And then Xavier Allen, the senior, comes in. You know, it seemed like he he did an okay job. You know, I mean, they really they didn't get on the board to the fourth quarter, so they avoided a shutout. But the game was still it was out of hand. It was an embarrassment. And you know, we look we look forward to John Tyler getting back on track this Friday night. They you know they have to. You don't wanna you wanna build some momentum going in going you know, then you gotta play Eulis Trinity. I mean, after Longview. So I mean some people out there might be thinking, man, they could possibly go 0 and four, one and three, you know. So the next two games is gonna decide because like I said Rob mentioned that he heard Devlin Woods should be good to go Saturday. We'll see what happens. But you have your offensive tag. You got Devlin Woods. You got Cam Grant running the football. And you got Roger Hawkins. You got you got the stud on the outside, KRJ Street. Your main core players are intact. Let's see. Now, this this is a game for the for the secondary that you look, they can redeem themselves. Linebacker and core. You know, for what Lee likes to do. But this is a chance to get back on track, build your confidence before you go down to Lobo Stadium. And, you know, and it, it's not a, it's not the time to lay another egg. I know it's non-district, but you have to start building after a performance like that. You can't you look ain't no other way but up. Okay, it, I know that sounds cheesy. It's, it's it sounds simple, but I'm gonna keep it that simple, and it because it's the honest truth, and that you know that's just what it is. But but you know also Lee. They played a great. They played a real good team in Marshall. Who's gonna look real? You know who might end up being Longview in Marshall. That's gonna now. That's gonna be. That's just like a Robbie Lee John Tyler game right there. Yeah, you know, saying Longview versus Marshall ain't no games. Yeah. You know, right down the road, it's, it's no games. I got I got friends in both towns. They all on my Facebook talking about it. This ain't up. nothing new. So I mean, you know, so we gonna see what happens. Also, I was gonna I was gonna let y'all in on this though. Um, it's the start of the NFL week. Uh, the fir- you know game kicking off Thursday night. The first game kicking off. I just thought, look, I just thought I would you know share my picks with y'all who I think is gonna win the games. You know, I kind of struggle with about three or four picks. I just did it, you know, for the you know. Just for the heck of it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, you know, just to see. I like picking games. I just like to see how right or how wrong I am. Just going by w- w- with my knowledge. But I'm going to just run it off, man. T- hey, tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow night we got Atlanta and Philadelphia. Now, this, hey, I had originally p- picked the Eagles to win this game. I was like, you know, that. You know, I just think. Cause I didn't know who was gonna start week one at first, but it's Nick Foles, and I'm th- and then I was like, oh yeah, they got that or whatever. The defense is gonna do good. They gonna hold Atlanta down. They gonna hold Atlanta down, and you know Philadelphia's gonna have that offense clicking j- en- just enough to win the game. Even though I think they might come out a little flat. It's the first game, and I know people said they haven't looked too good in the preseason, but it's the regular season now, and you know Nick Foles is a week one starter. So as Carson Wentz recovers from that uh, torn ACL, LCL, but or MCL, whatever it was, but I don't know. Hey, if they were playing Atlanta, I might switch my pick. But they're playing in Philadelphia, and I know how Atlanta they play a little different on the road. That's just what I know and what I see. So I'm picking. I'm picking Philadelphia win that game. The next game I got. We got Balt. I got Baltimore beating Buffalo. Baltimore's home is really nothing to talk about. They start Nathan, whether they will start Nathan Peterman or Josh Allen. I'm gonna take Baltimore in that defense against them. 
Now, this was a little tough one. Jacksonville and the Giants. I was like, Jacksonville got the defense. It don't matter. I don't really care if the Giants are at home or not. I'm like, uh, it's like, well, what is, I think the Giants' defense is going to be a little better this year. What can Blake Bortles do? So I was just like, you know what, forget it. I'm picking the Giants to win it, but Jacksonville can win that game because of that defense. Oh, man, I'm man, that Odell versus Jalen Ramsey, now that's going to be one of the matchups of the year. That's one that you just sit down and get your popcorn ready. By the way, big, I'm a big fan of Jalen Ramsey fan because of his talent. Uh, I know he's been talking a lot, but dude can back it up. Tampa Bay and New Orleans. I'm going with New Orleans. Ain't nothing to talk about there at home. New Orleans got the offense and the defense. Ain't nothing to talk about. I think Ryan Fitzpatrick is quarterback for the Tampa Bay. It's nothing to talk about there. Houston, New England. I want Houston to beat them. Hey, Deshaun Watson, they almost beat them last year. But I got to go with New England at home if the money's on the line. If I look, hey, if I get that pick wrong, I won't be ashamed because I pick who, I, who a lot of people think obviously going to win. But I like Deshaun Watson. Minnesota, Minnesota and San Francisco, I'm going Minnesota at home. Defense, you know, it ain't nothing to talk about. Jimmy Garoppolo is going to have a good year, though. Tennessee and Miami, this was a pick em. I just went on and picked Tennessee. You know, Ryan Tannehill coming back. I like, ah, Tannehill. Marcus Mariota and Derrick Henry, they might outdo them and win a close one. We'll see. Cincinnati and, and Indianapolis, I ain't going to lie. These two games, I don't yeah. really care too much about, but I got to put a winner, pick a winner. See, it's no huddle. I'm going through. I'm trying to go through this quickly. Cincinnati. Uh, I'm picking them over Andrew Luck, even though he's coming back. I picked Cincinnati on the road. I might get it wrong, but yeah. Marvin but who's got fired yet? No, nah, they. Somebody was saying. Uh, somebody was predicting he's probably gonna get fired this year. But we, well, we probably been thinking about job. that. We probably been thinking about that the last <laughs> a few years. This what? dude has held his job for so long. He's like one. Of, he's like the guy. You know how the black folk. We be sitting in the bathroom, trying to not do no work. He been sitting in the bathroom not doing no work for years. Like, how this dude still got a job? And hasn't won a, pl- won a playoff game. I'm just saying. You know, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Pittsburgh seems like they always play Cleveland first game. I'm taking I'm taking Steelers at Cleveland. There's nothing to really talk about on that one. Kansas City and the L.A. Chargers. Uh, native Patrick Mahomes starting. That's going to be interesting. Man, he going to – but look, man, his first regular season – Look, his start, his first start of the 2018 season, he got to go against the two, two of the best edge rushers. You got to go against Melvin Ingram and Joey Bosa. Oh, yeah. Then you got a, you got Casey Hayward on the outside, who's one of the top yeah. two or three cornerbacks in the league. It ain't nothing to talk about. Oh yeah, I need that. Oh, wait, what's that red rookie they they grabbed? Devlin, Devlin, Duran James. Yeah, that, I need, oh, I need him to have a good game because I got da- his, if Dallas would have drafted him, yeah. Lord. So I got his ultimate team call, and if he has a good game, they upgrade his card. I get his call for free instead of having to buy it. So I need Darren Man, James they, to have a good they're, game. They're saying he could be like similar to the next Sean Taylor, yeah, like that. That, that big. That, yeah, that's what that's what they're saying. Season because I can keep getting his upgrade every season. Uh, Man, I'm ready to see what he's going to do. Him and Mika Fitzpatrick. But Seattle and Denver, I'm going to take Denver at home. Even Case Kim starting, I'm going to take Denver at home. Seattle, they're not going to have the same defense. But, okay, Dallas at Carolina. All right, law, look, look, y'all. I'm just, look, I'm just picking a smart pick, though. Don't get mad at me, okay? I got to go with Carolina at home. That front seven, they're going to be loaded up to stop Zeke. Now, I hope I, I hope I hope I'm wrong on Zeke not having a good game. I'm taking the boys. You know, y'all know I'm with y'all. Yeah, I'm taking yeah, the boys. I'm taking them to, look, I might get, <laughs> look. They're playing in Carolina. They, look, Dak is gonna have to have a good game for them to win it because I feel like they're gonna load yeah. up that front seven mm-hmm. is one of the best people. That's the difference. <laughs> that front seven yeah. with Keekly, that linebacker corner. That that's one. That's one reason I'm picking Carolina. I just can't. Yeah. Now I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> but I'm just going look I got to pick this I'm doing this for, look I'm I'm just saying if the money on the line I'm just trying to I'm trying to be objective here yeah. I could be a home and pick that I'll pick him if I want to I'm going to pick him uh, playing more times this season don't worry about it yeah, yeah, that dude McCaffrey kind of cool, kind of nice though. Oh yeah, and then they and then what if DJ Moore has a good game for Carolina the guy that Dallas oh, should have yeah. picked instead of Van, Van Der Esch or whatever. Yeah, what happened to Ross? He got drafted there. Fred Ross from Jump Tyler. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I saw Fred. I, I, I don't know. I, I saw think. him at Jump Tyler. He might be at the game. I think Saturday. he's at the pra- on the practice squad, but I don't. I don't yeah. know the exact thing like him and uh, Greg. But 
Yeah. Yeah, uh, Greg played for the Eagles still, don't he? Yeah, but yeah, yeah I know sometimes they get on the practice squad, yeah. then they, you know, they get or oh, they get cut. Well, well yeah. you know, it's kind of like it's kind of like Teddy how he got brought, you know. Yeah. Uh, shout yeah. out to Teddy, man. People don't know. I've been knowing. Man, I used to chase this dude. Let me tell y'all a quick story. Look, the dude could always run like a deer. Yeah. It was like yesterday I was chasing him flag football on at P. I <laughs> mean, you know, I done the dude way before y'all knew who a Teddy was. Before he was out, you know, the dude could always, he like a deer. I, I, like a deer out there, man. But I'm proud of Teddy, man. I always had major love for Teddy. But, all right, Washington, Arizona, that was kind of a pick on. I think I went with Arizona. Uh, I mean, not Arizona. I went with the Redskins. I don't. <laughs> I think Alec, cause like I say, I guess I guess Arizona go with Sam Bradford. Unless David yeah. Johnson has a monster game, who I wish I had on my fantasy team, by the way. But, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but Washington, I, they might pull this out at home now. I mean, on the road now. Arizona, they could win because they're at home. It's hard to win. Uh, in Arizona down there. Or at least but, they got rid of Carson Palmer. He gone, man. Did yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, eventually, Josh Rosen going to be the man. But <laughs> Green Bay and Chicago, it's nothing to talk about. Green Bay and their yeah. Lambo, it's nothing to talk about, okay, people? Oh, yeah. Where they did get that new guy? What's his name? Khalil Mack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's going to be something. Him going. And Rodgers gets that ball out so quick. <laughs> um, yeah, look, the two Monday night games. Uh, man, I'm taking Detroit at home over the Jets. Sam Donald pro- will probably have a decent game, but I'm taking Detroit at Ford Field. You know what I'm saying? M- Matt Stafford have a decent game. Pro- at uh, L.A. Rams and Oakland, nothing to talk about. I'm going with the Rams. They're loaded. Man. Hey, Rams. Uh, uh, Raiders, no defense. Hmm. Look, Raiders, no defense. Raiders, at least a, a good – to okay offense, we'll see how they if they can get back on track. They got the weapons for it, but Rams have a defense. I'm taking the defense and the offense over a good offense and no defense. It's an easy choice for me. But I wanted to give y'all a rundown on that. Hey, football is a, is back for real. NFL, the real y'all was getting hype about the preseason games. The real NFL is back starting Thursday yep. night. Yep, and we start off Saturday night. With the football high school now, it's everybody, y'all remember, like I'm telling you, this this game, even though it's not gonna mean nothing for district and all that, but uh, we don't have some, we didn't have some great games. I remember watching that game, the one in the rain. It was like six to six. It went to overtime. Muddy game. Went by muddy, yeah. yeah. I was there at that one. Right. I remember the one when uh, was the one the Alsbell brothers. They was playing the Derek Farmer. Did this thing? I mean, I'm telling you, I remember a lot of memories. Derek Farmer, Joffrey Reynolds, Josh yeah. Hill. I'm named quarterback <laughs> running back Tyrone Ross, T.Y. You know, yeah. look, look, man. My cousin played for My cousin played in the long with uh, He played against uh, Matt Flynn and all them. You know, he was pretty fat. They called him Squirrel. So, I'm a cousin Squirrel, you know. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, I got to say this. Hey, I know y'all looking for that gear for the league game, for the league John Tyler game. Any John Tyler gear. Man, go holler at my man Nico, Nico oh, Hernandez yeah. down at 220 Lounge, man, right there, 220 North Glenwood. Get yeah. your gear. He got the hats, the scarves, yeah. the shirts. Mm-hmm. When they get go, y'all holler at him, man. Yeah, Add know, Nico Hernandez Friday. on Facebook. He got your gear, man. I'll probably go there Friday. Speaking of 220, <laughs> yeah, it's a good nah, club. Yeah, it's a good club. It's a great club. Yeah, yeah. But no, nah, yeah, but yeah, he got he. He's a. <laughs> Yeah, now, yeah, yeah. But yeah, speaking of, yeah, but hey, if you want it, and then if you want, hey, you need an event to throw some kind of fashion show or some kind of big party, hey, hit him up or whatever. <laughs> he got the barbershop there too. Yeah. But I want the barbershop. Thing. I don't and know I, why. And I tried I, to get a cut there one day, and they, I sat there for like thirty minutes. They did, they looked at me like, I guess you got to go appointment or something. I, I I walked. I mean, I I walked out because I was waiting there so long, and they looked at me like I was just there. I was like, what? I don't know, it's something like barbershops. One stop do it too. You'll sit in there for like hours, two hours before they even ask you with the chair. That's why I try to cut my own hair. I have my uh tell my dude. I need my dude Carlo if you listen and he be cutting my hair and all that. I need to find Carlo, hit me up. I need a haircut. Yeah, I go right down the street. <laughs> but anyway, that don't But but hey, but for real though, let like we gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna pass it back off to Rob you know, he wanna he wanna give y'all a little a little um sunset. 
on this uh, episode of the No Huddle Podcast. Hey, man, we ready to be out there Saturday night. Uh, let me say one more thing. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm not, I don't like to give myself a uh, – I don't like to put this on here, you know. I'm just, I'm just sticking to the podcast. But like I say, man, y'all know I do photography. Y'all need somebody to need a reasonable photographer for wedding, some kind of event. Uh, yeah. Add me, CJ Jones or Chris Jones. You can add me on on Rob Page. Yeah. And just, oh yeah, search CJ Photography, C E E J A Y, and that's the like page. So if y'all need, I know some people need to have trouble. They have trouble finding people for the price they can spend. So I got you. I'm yeah. out. Yo, I'm, I'm still going to buy that camera, y'all. I've been saying it for months and months. But I'm going to buy that camera, and I'm going to be uh, with CJ taking pictures, too, doing stuff. But uh, Never know when I need assistance. I need, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got some video work uh, that needs to be done. Me and Rob are going to be talking about that offset. Yeah, yeah. But, um, Speaking of video, you see that video Zeno's talking about? No, I got some interviews, like there's some artist interviews coming. Uh, maybe some athlete interviews. Oh, yeah, we do that too. Yeah, it's gonna be. Hell, yeah, no. Why doing that? This Bob Brown was kind of. This, this, if y'all watching this Bob Brown story, it's kind of. Oh, yeah, yeah, by the way, man, guys, man, I was gonna say one minute. Since we talk about artists, uh, it dropped this week. Hey, go get one, one, hey, one of the best rappers in these takes around. Don Foo, he just dropped Don Foo Leo. Get Nothing. that, get that for real. Terrence yeah. Pettigrew on <laughs> Facebook, get it. Hey. Don Mass Seventeen was a fool. I still jam it. <laughs> Get that Don Fulio. Hey, Derek Wise, you won't be disappointed. I want to tell you a story about Don Fulio. It's not the greatest story. Him and Rory, before I knew what they was like doing. Him and Rory, they I, I didn't really know who they was, but I knew them, but I didn't know them. You know, like it was. It's when I was doing my IMF stuff. Oh yeah, we gone for a little. It's, it's, oh, but it's still a quick story. I was I was doing my IMF A and R work right, and I was signing orders to distribution deal. I was trying to so. Me and them had a meeting, right? We had a meeting. We had a, like, well, it was, we had a meeting pretty much, like, the sign up stuff. And I guess they didn't think I was, like, real serious. Because I can, you know how you talk to people? You can see them kind of smirking and stuff. I mean, it's, it's cool because I'm not having no problem with them. But it's funny that, uh, that's how things just change. But, uh, and I and pretty much IMF was pretty much a bad company to be with. So I'm pretty much glad I didn't really sign none of y'all orders who I spoke to. Big John, uh, Jay Slim, my dude, uh, Jay, uh, my dude Jay Hook. All those guys I was talking about AM IMF. It was a real company, but they were just they wasn't registered as a as a a distributor. They were trying to rich They were trying to work as a labor, and people weren't getting paid and stuff. So pretty much. I'm glad I didn't try to get y'all into that stuff, but it was serious stuff. I had actual paperwork and stuff, so because I was bringing people wasn't really ready for that stuff when I was doing it back then. I guess this type each Texas wasn't ready for no major type stuff, but the stuff I was trying to do. So that's why I was trying to do nightclub with a showcase, and then Nico would tell me he don't think it would work because all this. But I, I was like, yeah, they was wasn't ready, and I'm dropping my phone. I hate these iPhones. So they slip. They so slippery. But anyway, man, we just rambling. But shout out to John Fu and Jordan. Cause y'all doing y'all thing now. Cause y'all don't. Y'all didn't need the IMF. Y'all told me y'all could do it. The stuff I could give y'all, y'all could do it yourself. And that's what y'all doing. So yeah, shout out to everybody. We out of here. Shout out to uh, Jasmine and uh, Zena. I gotta shout out to Zena. Zena, boy. <laughs> you think Zena let me get on that track one? Be like in a video, like just to be like a guy or something. I'm gonna ask her. I've been asking the last time. She always laughs at me. All they, all they can give you is a yes or no. That's all they can give you. Uh, yeah, we've been great. We go. This is a long podcast. But anyway, we out of here, man. It's going down.